Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Safety Study Group. Let's talk about risk assessment. I have made this risk assessment as simple as it can be. Anybody can uh, understand it. It's very basic level. I will make another video, inshallah, sometime in the future for a more advanced uh, risk assessment. So, we have uh, one worker in three different situations. I'll be posting a photo of the situation right here, somewhere here. You will see it in the next minute, inshallah. He's working on a scaffold. One scaffold is good, the other is not so good, the other one is really dangerous. So let's apply uh, the uh, scaffold to this risk assessment or this risk assessment to that uh, scaffold. Okay, on the first scaffold, he's working, he's, <clears throat> he's got his uh, full PPE, the scaffold has got the rails and everything, everything is good. The, uh, the legs of the uh, scaffold are all even. It is put on uh, a firm, stable ground. Okay, the second photo. The same worker is working now. The scaffold has no tow boards. The guardrails are not so good, not as good as the first uh, situation. And he's not wearing PPE. The legs are also bent and jacked up. The third situation is the same worker supposedly be working on a third scaffold. This scaffold, the legs are jacked up. One of the legs is actually missing. There are no guardrails. He's not wearing PPE, no tool boards, nothing and the scaffold is even a little uh, tilted. Okay, so now let's talk about the risk assessment and how we can apply it to this situation, okay? I have written these to describe the work, to describe the level of the risk we have involved in that situation. So on the first uh, situation, on the first situation where we have full PPE, uh, the, the guardrails are good, he's uh, wearing his uh, you know, uh, full body harness, he's connected, the, the ground is level, it's good. How likely is it for him to fall? I say it's not likely. Not likely for him to fall because everything is good and he's got training, it's all good. Now, if he falls, <coughs> Excuse me. If he falls, how severe will his injuries be? Okay, if he falls, uh, I'm saying he's not going to fall, but if by some miracle he falls, well, he's wearing his, uh, you know, li last line of defense is fall protection. Um, he may, you know, hurt himself in the, in the leg uh, area or in the sack area a little bit, but that's it really. No life-threatening injuries, nothing at all. So, that is good. So, <coughs> likelihood. This tells us how likely is, is it for him to fall. The severity tells us how bad will the fall be. Okay? How bad will his fall be? Okay. <coughs> Number one says it's not likely for him to fall. He's not going to fall because he's protected and inshallah he will not fall. Okay? So one, this is the likelihood of his fall. One, it is very low or low. Okay, what about the severity? What about the severity of his uh, fall? Like we said, he's not going to fall. But if he does, if he does, two. The severity of his fall or his injuries will be two. So now, what we do is we take one and multiply it by one. Okay? So one 
multiplied by one, excuse me, by, by two, equals what? Two. So here, the risk level is low. The risk level <coughs> is low. So that tells us this person can work and it is okay, he's in the green. All right, great, let's move on. The second situation, the uh, scaffold, the scaffold, the legs are bent, okay? He's not wearing PPE, the rails are not good, and obviously he hasn't received any work in a tight training or fall protection uh, PPE training. So how likely is it for him to fall? Hmm. I would say it is still low, but it's higher than before. So I would say it is two. The likelihood of his fall is two. <coughs> likelihood of his fall is two. Without the fall protection equipment, if he falls, and I forgot to say that in this photo, there is a lot of garbage in here, maybe something that can cut him when he falls. Okay. The, the scaffold, by the way, is like three meters high. It's, it's not too high. Okay. All right. So if he falls, okay, he's going to hurt himself. He's going to hurt himself. So the likelihood is two. Okay. The likelihood is two. And the severity is also two. The severity is also two. So two multiplied by two, we will have four. Four. So four tells us additional controls are required. Additional controls are required before we start the work. What are the additional controls? First, we try to eliminate the hazard. What is it? The scaffold is not good. What do we do to bring in some uh, new ones? Or we try to, <coughs> excuse me, we try to eliminate it. We try to eliminate it, um, have them do the work on the ground and then elevate the work there, but it's not possible. So what do we do now? We have to replace it, okay? We replace it with a better scaffold that is not that dangerous. So that is the control. And we put somebody there that has uh, PPE and working at high training and all, all of that. So, Additional controls, that's how you do it. Okay, now let's say the third situation. The third situation, no training, no guardrails, no tool boards, no PPE, no, you know, one of the legs is missing. One of the legs is missing, as you see. So what do we do now? We calculate the risk. Now, if the scaffold is like this, Right? And the worker doesn't have training, doesn't have PPE, doesn't have this, doesn't have this, doesn't have that. How likely is it for uh, this worker to fall? I would say, let me not use this color, let me use a more appropriate color. I would say the likelihood of his fall is very high. It is three. Hmm. Okay. So. The likelihood is three, and the severity is also three, because if he falls, <clears throat> as you see the garbage here around his, uh, you know, his scaffold in the bottom, maybe there is an exposed, uh, you know, metal rod or something, or rebar or something. If he falls on it, what's going to happen? Could very well penetrated his body. So penetrated his body. He did not die from the fall, but he died because of bad housekeeping. So I say the severity here can be three. We can go high or it will be critical. Okay? So it is very, very important for us to calculate the risk and make a decision before we do the work. Okay, it is our job to make sure that the uh, workers are not exposed to high level risk. 
We need to try to eliminate it, reduce it, isolate it, or control it by um, admin controls, providing training and, and uh, all of that, or uh, provide the necessary PPE if the hazard can be eliminated or the risk is uh, reduced with just the provision of uh, PPE. So, <coughs> excuse me, we get the risk level from multiplying the likelihood with the severity, okay? So, if you multiply three by three, that's nine. Three by six, it's very simple math. That is how you, you will understand it. Even in your own company's uh, risk assessment matrix, if you, good, uh, if you go to it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have nine blocks, if you have uh, you know, 15, or if you have 20. It doesn't matter. All of them will have here <coughs> the likelihood or probability, the severity. And maybe you'll have different colors. Maybe you have numbers here. Okay, maybe you'll have one, two, three, uh, two, three, whatever. Maybe you have numbers in there. It doesn't matter. What matters is, what matters is, you need to understand that this is how you have to calculate it. The likelihood multiplied by the severity, you will get the number, and that is uh, the outcome of the risk, or that is the level of uh, the risk. Over here, it will say maybe something like, how likely is it to happen? The likelihood. Uh, not likely, almost likely, likely, very likely, almost certain, okay? Here it will say the severity, minimal, cuts and bruises, uh, LTI, or first aid case, LTI, uh, multiple injuries when it says uh, fatality, okay? It doesn't matter. Once you understand the, the principle of, of risk assessment, all of it becomes easy to you. Okay, uh, let me know what do you th uh, think of this comment. Excuse me. Let me know what do you think of this video uh, in the comments and uh, wait for the uh, more advanced uh, risk assessment uh, video. Uh, hopefully, I'll make it easier uh, for the you know intermediate and advanced level as well. I need to first make sure I understand it completely. I know how to deliver it in uh, you know, let's say in a lecture or in a video. And then explain it to all of us, okay? Nobody knows, any, uh, nobody knows everything. I'm still learning. You're still learning. That's why you're watching. And hopefully, hopefully I was able to help and, you know, make your learning process less painful, okay? I've been Garib Shaban Hassan, and I'll see you in the next video, inshallah.